a new star citizen alpha 3.23 ep2 patch just dropped still for wave 2 and we're getting straight into the patch notes for features and gameplay under the location category distribution center lod performance lighting and audio pass has been done they've adjusted distribution center ai population to be more civilian focused instead of security under the gameplay category ifcs master modes they're allowing cancellation of master mode swapping at any point i did notice that it was annoying not to be able to swap from um quantum spool when um i decide to cancel it it's like you have to wait until the uh, system is fully spooled so i'm glad that they've added this we'll have to see it in the pu to see if it's actually working dynamic crosshair hit marker sound effects polish has also been done under the quartet category they've added vulcan reshade to eac whitelist further server performance optimizations they made network performance optimization they made further water sim improvements they put in further updates to help smooth out all npc jittering and they updated control image for star citizen 3.23 there's a few bug fixes with this one they fixed an issue where hangar missing collision from incoming flight traffic they fixed an issue where uh, for the asop terminals uh, where the terminals cannot retrieve ship list and instead has an infinite load they also fixed an issue where delicate dealings or ownership reassign delivery point marker disappear at the end of the mission so now this is for the distribution center missions they fixed an issue where the may rock death sound not triggering they also fixed an issue for loot and inventory when looting ui can fail to target a valid slot causing move attempt to fail i thought they already fixed this one um, player is unable to mine an asteroid as scan info does not disappear um that's a good fix trams missing from perimeter line west they also fix another one where directional effects will sometimes be orientated the wrong way when spawning via mfx surface type interactions from missiles when firing the first missile at a water surface it won't render any vfx or change to the water they also fixed an issue where the interactive prompt from admin bartender or mission giver AI will disappear once the player attempts to select an option. They fixed an issue for the trader wallet app has no failed state screen results in infinite processing. They fixed an issue for the kill all animals. Target kills with bombs and missiles do not count towards the mission objective. They fixed an issue where there are areas in the technical deck with gaps in the room um volume causing player suffocation this is for the ammo character they man this is like the third patch they said to fix this <laughs> um they fixed an issue where engineering on and off a pit prompt is not aligned with the highlighted button in the cockpit they fixed an issue for the 600 i cockpit glass is too reflective they fixed another issue where object marker does not appear for shared mission contracts they fixed an issue where um space bond t target ai is not spawning at the mark location i hope i hope this is actually fixed because this does not allow you to do the bounty missions the the um the ones that spawn planet side okay so they also fix an issue when reloading the baron fs9 any optical attached to the weapon noticeably moves during the reload animation they fix an issue where the progress bar does not show when salvaging ship during contract they fix an issue for engineering squadron battle scoreboard displayed inconsistent client per team compared to actual active client per team along with this is six client crashes seven server crashes a river turn vulcan client crash and two amd specific vulcan client crashes you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next one